Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and of course George, welcome on to the channel everybody and it's a couple of days after Leeds United have been beaten again by Manchester City champions and looking like champions again Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium Leeds United went down 2-1 at in Manchester obviously and, uh, and yeah, and why people seem quite happy about this I know and let's get straight into it. Let's not mess about. Obviously, it was Big Sam, Big Sam Allardyce's first game as Leeds United manager. Obviously, he's got three more to go, um, and then obviously, I don't think he'll be the manager next season, whatever division we're in, which will, I think, will be the championship. I think. Let me know in the comments. Can we survive relegation? Um, but yeah, obviously, his first game in charge, he went ultra defensive as as. What can you do against Manchester City? Let me know in the comments because for me, the only way to play against Man City is sort of it's it's high risk and high reward, isn't it? You've got to play them almost when you get the ball. You've got to leave your attacking players up the field, you know, with options because here we saw many times Bamford absolutely isolated, pumping the ball long to him. It's not going to stick. It's going to come straight back at. Yeah, and that's what exactly what happened. It was so defensive from Leeds United. And yet people are happy about losing 2-1. I know we've been smashed the last few. You know, 6-1-5, 1-4-1. But for me, there's only one way to play against Man City. High risk, high reward. We've seen it a couple of years ago. I know it was empty stands and everything, but we still had the elite team to play up against and we beat them you know so you've got to go at them you've got to and and, and Sam Allardyce it was, it was suicidal the way he set that team up on 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 Saturday you were basically you know they were basically saying to Man City we'll clear the ball just come back at us it was attack versus defense maybe you could say it was kind of damage limitation we You've got to kind of... How else are you going to win a game? You've got to win the game somehow. Pumping balls long to Patrick Bamford and just pumping the ball along when you've got it. Inviting them to, do, to to attack you again. You're never going to win. You're never going to win. And All right, it's, 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 it's incredibly hard to play against Man City. They are not human almost. They're not. I know Haaland... He had an off day, and like I said again, like you allude to the fact that people are happy losing two one at, at the Etihad. I'm not happy with it because it could have been more. Look, he dropped Melier. Thank goodness for that. Hopefully, we won't see him again in a lead shirt. Robles is is. I've said it a long time ago. Much safer pair of hands. Much steadier. We did see that on Saturday. Um, it was not his fault for the couple of goals, which were basically carbon copies of each other. Why on earth um, Gundogan is, is, is left unmarked for both occasions, sort of seven minutes apart from each other, is, again, it's suicidal from, from the players marking him. You, you can't give a technician like him such time on the ball because he picks out the corners, and he did that both for both goals. Um, you know, at 2-0 you're thinking it is probably going to be a cricket score but that doesn't excuse the fact that you can be happy with any defeat and I've seen people saying great performance, great result it's not a great result, come on we lost the game and I don't care who, who we're playing against you can get hammered by any team we've shown that this season so you can get hammered by any team it doesn't matter who you're playing You've got to keep it tight. You've got to, you know, and, and be brave on the ball. Leeds and I were definitely not that on Saturday. We were lucky to come away with with 2-1. It could have been 3-0 um, last five minutes. It, it was funny to see him miss that penalty through his hat-trick. Obviously, we go up the other end. And, and we did impose ourselves in its second half a bit more. Good to see Rodrigo. That's get a get a goal. It's twelve now. He has to start ahead of Bamford. This game against Newcastle on Saturday is a little bit more winnable, um, and you've got to go and attack them.
because if we play like that again, we're getting murdered again. And I don't care if it's on the scoreline or on possession-wise. I think we had 20% possession of the football on, on, on Saturday. And, and they were happy to give that up, weren't they? They were happy to give the ball up and say, hey, come and attack us. But there seemed no real plan to 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 go on and attack wise to go and nick a goal or something like that. It was just attack against defence, pathetic, and yet people are happy with that. Not me, you know. You want to see a, a team have a go. It, in that sense, if we're getting beat five six, now I know for goal difference, you can say goal difference is crucial at the moment, which it is. But so is winning games of football. If we'd have done the unthinkable, perhaps, and won that game on Saturday, we'd be three points better off, home and hose nearly, you could say. And so, you know, they've, they've gone down there and, and they've got beat 2-1. I, th I think this, ironically, I, I'm saying I'm not happy with it, but I think this would be a good result, potentially, if it was bit earlier on in the season you'd say oh well we gave it you know we didn't lose too many we got a goal back we let we made them sweat at the end obviously they were time wasting towards the end of the game you wouldn't see man city doing that very often in the in in the, in ever really but um yeah i think ultimately it's a poor result and, and like i said if it was earlier on in the season you'd say hey Chog it down to one of them games, we we did okay. But at this point, with three games to go, we're level on points with, with the team in, in 18th place. It's not good enough. We need wins now. Um, so I can see why people are saying it was okay in terms of goal difference, but a loss is a loss at this stage of the, of the campaign. And there's three games to go. Can we get a result? I actually think, seeing Newcastle yesterday, we can get a result. With them, you frustrate them, you go at them. Again, you go at them. Wind them up, frustrate them. Put the ball out of play. Break the play up. You know, roll around on the floor for a bit. They do it, so why can't we? Play them at their own game. I think we can actually get a result on, on Saturday at Ellen Road. The, the, the ground's going to be white hot with an atmosphere, isn't it? So... I think we can get a result. I'm not saying it were it was it was a bad result at the end of the day. We've lost the game, it's frustrating. Um, but I can see why people say it is a good result in the end, because of the goal difference and the way that Man City can just rip you apart, which they did. Um they just didn't they were just wasteful. Erlen Haaland was incredibly wasteful I don't know what you can't say because he's from Leeds this that and the other he's a goal machine he would have wanted them goals uh, regardless of who the opposition is but let me know the comment in the comments what you're thinking can we survive relegation it's another game down it's a massive game it's a massive day to day for Leeds with all the teams below them playing some one of them is going to win I think we'll end the day in a relegation zone if truth be told but let's wait and see you know, if Southampton win, if Fulham and Brighton both win, then it's, it's as you are with the game down. So, fingers crossed for that. Uh, let's wait and see what happens. Thanks very much for watching anyway. March on together. I'll see you on the next one.